Welcome to another video. This time, I decided to change up the pace a little bit. I've been giving a lot of videos and reviews of statues and busts, prop replicas. And so for this one, I wanted to show a pretty special collectible. This is something uh, that if you're a Disney fan, you will recognize immediately. Uh, this is the glass slipper from the live-action Cinderella. This was released a couple of years ago. Um, it starred Lily James as the title character. And I really liked the movie. I thought it was very good. I can go into that in a little bit more detail later on. But the focus of this uh, video is to showcase the famous slipper. Now, a little bit of background. For that movie, it was directed by Kenneth Branagh, and that was the movie where Swarovski really entered into a partnership with Disney and Kenneth Branagh to bring a lot of these uh, gorgeous uh, period costumes to life. And they used a stunning number of crystals, I think it's the tens of thousands of them. Uh, to kind of accent the costumes. And one of the things that Swarovski contributed were, uh, was this beautiful glass slipper. Uh, in reality, of course, crystal slipper. And for the movie, they made five full-size uh, crystal slippers. And to celebrate the release of the movie, Swarovski uh, released a limited edition 400 uh, collectible slippers based on the movie. Now, these are not full size. I believe they are 60%, 60 to 70% of, uh, of the full size. It's a little bit smaller. So only those five uh, slippers for the movie sort of have the honor of being truly full size. Okay, uh, but in every other respect, it's a perfect replica, a perfect copy of the glass slipper from the live action Cinderella movie. And it is an amazing piece. It is an amazing design. Uh, first of all, when you look at it, and I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of close-ups. So I don't know how many of you guys actually remember this, but for the teaser trailer, all it showed was this little butterfly flying and then the butterfly landed on the glass slipper and it solidified into this gold butterfly and it's just a, such a striking art design it sort of immediately recalled the magic of the glass slipper and you have to remember that before the live action movie uh, the only glass slipper we got was just really very plain glass uh, if you go to the disneyland or disney world uh, souvenir shops uh, the rebus brothers who contract with Disney to create crystal merchandise. Their versions were just kind of plain. It really was nothing more and nothing less than a glass slipper with like a little heart, um, you know, at the end of it. And so when the movie kind of remade the glass slipper, the glass slipper is such a central uh, component of the mythology of, of uh, Cinderella, that when the movie kind of redesigned it and made it this butterfly, it was just an amazing redesign, very, very beautiful, very striking, very memorable. Um, and that kind of got you in the mood immediately for how magical and how important that slipper is. And so for the replica, uh, they decided to make that butterfly silver and it's gorgeous. I think for the movie, of course, it's gold. Uh, and I'll put up some more videos of other versions of this slipper. Uh, and when you compare, you'll see that nothing actually compares to this. This is my favorite crystal piece. Uh, I bought another one a couple years later for the live action Beauty and the Beast. They sold um, a Swarovski crystal rose. And I'm a big Beauty and the Beast fan. It's my favorite uh, Disney animated movie. So I thought that that rose would be something else. But you know what? My favorite Swarovski piece from all these movies still remains a slipper. It's breathtaking. Uh, that's all these facets. You can see there's really not a lot to say about this other than just to show you how beautiful it is. Um, this thing sold out literally immediately on release. 
And I won't even get into how I was uh, finally able to procure one. I got into the game a little bit late on this. Apparently these things go on sale and are pre-sold out sometimes one to two months before the movie even comes out. And so by the time I saw the movie and wanted this, it was already too late. Um, prices on eBay were going for, oh, I think over $3,000, which is a little bit crazy. This actually retailed though for close to 2,000, I believe. Um, and so I finally managed to get it because I emailed one, the director of like the retail affairs or something like that. She's this lady who's in charge of all of the uh, merchandising in Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. And I actually emailed her and she had one of these left and they actually um, mailed it from the Magic Kingdom to the Disneyland uh, Crystal store. And then I actually drove to Disneyland on my lunch hour to pick this up. So that was kind of a crazy sequence of events uh, that led me to get this. And now, of course, it's long sold out. And I don't know how high the prices are on eBay now. But um, this is, again, um, amazing. Let me get, do a little close up of the butterfly. Here it goes. And then you can see all the different facets of the crystal. <clears throat> so again, I'm terrified of like messing this up, of breaking it, of doing anything to it, um, which is kind of sad really, but you know, I really have to think about how to best display it. Uh, I have it put away in its uh, box right now, and when I finish the video, I'll show you how it comes in. It's very classy, uh, very nice but probably I won't be able to really truly display it unless I spend another couple thousand dollars um, customizing, making a custom like glass pedestal like in a museum with lights on the corners and rotating base and all that stuff. And I mean, that's kind of crazy. And as my wife would tell you, I don't have room for any of this stuff to begin with. And the last thing we need at this point is like another huge pedestal just to showcase this thing. Um, but it is very, very beautiful. Um, I do love looking at it. Uh, just kind of reminds me again of how much I love the movie and Lily James does such a great job as Cinderella. But yeah, you feel like you basically have the glass slipper from the movie like in your you know collection, which is spectacular. Okay, so one of the fun things to do is to try to shine light on it and just get it to refract. So I'm gonna try to turn on the light from a side source. And I'm gonna just rotate it. You can just see the light glistening off of it. have this soft cotton on my turntable because I'm afraid of even scratching the, the crystal, you know, putting it on the uh, turntable. So again, some of you guys or most of you guys are gonna laugh at this and I deserve that, but uh, seriously, when we're talking about something that is this expensive, this rare, and this difficult to get, I just can't take any chances. So, you know, unlike my other reviews and video commentaries, there's not a whole lot to say about this. Uh, I guess for good and for ill, I mean, you look at this and it just makes its own statement, right? What is it to say about it? It's just a, you know, you're speechless. It's just an amazing, spectacular, phenomenal, whatever word you want to use. It's striking. It's a work of art. It's gorgeous. This is like the one piece where like the average maybe girlfriend or wife or like she'll look at this piece and she'll get it. I mean, she may not look at a piece of the Terminator or Darth Vader or a Marvel character or Thanos or Iron Man and you know, she may not get that. I mean, of course there are a lot of female uh, fans of, of all these things, that's fine. But like, you know, say the average, you know, female may not understand that, but this, yeah, they're gonna get this. They'll understand this. So, 
Let's do some close-ups. Hear that amazing butterfly. And then, of course, all the, the glass, the silver, the crystal, all of that. I don't know how many reviews of this there are actually on YouTube. Remember, only 400 of these were ever released. And out of those 400, how many people actually want to make an actual YouTube video of this? I don't know. Okay, so here it goes. That's it. Hope you enjoy that. And I'm going to end by putting it back in its case. So you can kind of get a chance to see what that's like. So I'm going to turn off the light. So I'm wearing my gloves. This is the This is the case for it. Uh, soft foam to protect it. Okay, so now that's in. And then you have this. That's cloth used to wipe fingerprints and dust off of it. So it goes in like this. Okay. Then you have the top. And then you open it using this hole here. And after that, you have some of the paperwork. Swarovski, how to take care of the crystal. Limited edition Cinderella slipper from Disney. 2015. Try to show this to you. So you can read that yourself. Um, oh, here's the information down there. So I was uh, incorrect. Five pairs of bespoke life size Rossi crystal slippers appear in Disney's new movie and have inspired this 85% replica slipper. So um, again, not 60%, as I said in my uh, video earlier, but 85% created in faceted pure crystal. The slipper features a glittering rhodium plated butterfly, beautifully embellished with light sapphire colored crystal stones. This is just uh, telling you a little bit about it. Here's the certificate of authenticity. As you can see, mine is 198 out of 400. There are 221 cut crystal facets in each of these slippers. Only 400 pieces. And then of course, nice picture of it. So you got that. You have the certificate and a little tiny pamphlet that talks about it, how to care for the Swarovski crystal. And on top of that, they even included a pair of gloves. So this is what you see when you open this box up. And then of course, the lid right over here. And then the rest of this just sort of wraps up. This is very obvious stuff. It's nothing, you can see all the dust on this thing. So there's not much to this, but this is the actual box. All right, so I hope uh, you enjoyed that. I nearly had a heart attack taking it out and videotaping it and talking about it and then putting it back one-handed. But uh, yeah, you know, maybe sometime in the future, if I ever do have the space and the money to really put together something that will truly adequately show it off and I really want it to be a museum style display, I'll make another video uh, showing that but that's a far way a long ways off and in the meantime it's just basically resting uh, safely in this little vault of uh, soft foam but yeah not something that's you know normally my type of thing to collect but 
this is one of my favorite pieces ever because again, um, I love the movie and maybe another video I could talk about why I loved it so much. And this is like the most beautiful piece from that movie. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.